All right, just because they got this uh, coin shortage, which I think is a bunch of baloney, and they're saying exact change only. Well, I got you exact change right here. How about that? I'm going to get you uh, some coins since they claim to be desperately in need. I think it's all, it's all baloney. Well, maybe I have something to do with that, huh? There's my big five-gallon jug. I think, oh, just about half full, maybe a little bit more. Big five-gallon jug. Saving up for a coin star video. Locker nuts causes national coin shortage. News at 7. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this locker at the auction for $1,800. I'm calling it four days on the hunt because in four days of auctions, this is the one and only unit I wanted. It's a big 10 by 20 locker full of totes and it looked clean and very well organized. I pulled the trigger because of a few high-end items I spotted initially, but it has turned out even better than I hoped. The family that owned it spent lots of money and this locker was filled with high-end merchandise. I even found hundreds in cash and gift cards. I'm still trying to see if we can average $100 per tote because if we can do that I stand to make over 10 grand on this unit. Let's see what we find today. Okay, one of the reasons I go to, uh, I was at Burger King is because, did you guys know this? They sell ice. <laughs> I never knew that. I never ever knew that. $1.99, what a deal. And I'm gonna need that ice today because it is right about 100 degrees. 100 degrees today. Maybe a little higher out here because I'm uh, a couple cities away from my house and it is typically warmer out here. So uh, yeah, I got all this, a bunch of empty bins, a couple that are already processed, ready for the flea market. I'm gonna add it to my second unit here where I kind of keep uh, some of the inventory, all right? Ooh, yeah, it's a little bit hotter than 100, 103. Yeah, happy, happy, happy times. All right, now I'm at my unit. Okay, so you see I got the GoPro set up. I just kind of thought that, you know, we got too many, um, too many videos in a row being shot in my garage. Let's mix things up a little bit. Let's put the GoPro on and uh, dig through some boxes together so you get a little first, uh, what do you call it, first person perspective. All right, and we'll go through some of these real quick, and then I'll grab a bunch and bring them back to the house for the next episode. But right now... Let's get to digging. All right, let's get started with this box right here. And I've got an empty tote to put some of the, you know, stuff in. I don't really like using big empty boxes. I mean, uh, big cardboard boxes like this. Plus, you see the top is empty, so it kind of crushes down really easy. That's kind of nice, huh? Look at this little Ziploc or something container, but it's got the little air valve there. All right, no biggie. Little teapot. Ugh, sticky. Got a bunch of coffee lids here, coffee cup lids. All right, but that's not the excitement, right? This is kind of exciting. Starbucks. A whole bunch of Starbucks mugs. And those are pretty. Those are pretty nice. For lack of a better word. <laughs> <laughs> these ones are also very nice this is uh we like starbucks mugs in our house we use them quite a bit um they are definitely one of my favorites because they're quality they, they really are quality um some of them the ones that we bought a long time ago we still have space needle huh looks like a starbucks mug but it's not but it's still a nice nice mug there are some that are actually pretty collectible wow all right, we got quite a few teapots here. I'm not exactly sure why they need so many teapots. Oh, that's a tea teapot. That's kind of cool, actually. Real teapot here. Crate and barrel. Is this like one of those neutral bullets? Because we found a neutral bullet set earlier. This may go to that. There's just a couple more pieces here. Nothing too exciting there. Just gonna find another box for that. Because this is a uh, this is not good use space right there. So I'm gonna put all the recyclables in there. Alright, here's another box. This is actually one of the earlier boxes that we found. 
and uh, right off the bat I like that hand warmers as I said before those are really good for the flea market in the winter time okay Ooh, Boston Red Sox here nice little hat and another Boston Red Sox here got a lot of Boston Red Sox stuff they must have liked the Red Sox for sure okay this is how we do it guys we try to se kind of separate stuff flea market garage sale that sort of thing and uh you know stuff to go on maybe our live auctions like this might be live auction stuff not this and stuff to keep like this okay oh this is good right here okay so i did see this before i think i actually drank a couple of these waters already uh hmm these are gonna come in handy today i already bought a brought a bunch of waters with me but i can always use some more there's a little air compressor for your car. It's actually, these are really handy. I don't think I have one, but you know what? I'll find another. There's a safety vest here, but it looks like it's kind of mildewed. Okay. Motorcycle straps are good. They always sell. A little rusty wrench. Other than being warm, these waters are perfectly fine. Alright, let's see what's in this one. It's nice and convenient. Yeah, there's some Nikes. They're a little bit dirty. But they're decent, huh? Twelve and a half. Yeah, these are pretty these are pretty gross though. These are 13s. Put those in the flea market. These Air Maxes, uh, these are a little bit nicer. Even though they need to be cleaned up, Air Maxes are good. New Republic. Okay. More New Republic. Huh, Vince. I never heard of them. Made in China. Feels alright. It's got a suede. Size 12. That's a little better. Alright, let's get this box right here. Oh, man. It's not so much heavy as it is. It's kind of sloppy, it moves around. <laughs> it's not a very sturdy box. It's probably over overpacked. It's not meant to have this much stuff in there. Okay, so let's see what we got. Alright, I see a lot of bathroom stuff. None of that's super exciting or valuable, but most of this will sell at the flea market. It, it does sell. This kind of stuff is it gets very popular. This actually sells really well at the flea market. Not a big surprise. More Epsom salt. Is this the locker where we found all the Epsom salt? No, I think it was the... Uh, I think it was the pod, wasn't it? I don't know. I can't remember now. These lockers start to, start to blur together. Panasonic, this is nice. RXCT 810, I bet you that's 30 or 40 bucks locally. That's a good find right there. All right, next box. Oh man, I know what this is. This is one of those CPAPs, right? The breathing machine for when you're sleeping. Rem Star Plus, Respironics. So I've had these a couple times. Those little rubber knobbies there are all like melting. <laughs> it's not even that hot in my locker. But this Respironics, Rem Star Plus M Series. Oh, here we go. Model 105-1158. These are some money right here, but they're, you're not supposed to sell them um, unless you have a license to sell them because they're supposed to be like super cleaned, cleaned up and everything. Oh, look at this Echo. Those, whoa, those are almost new. Barely worn. Echo shoes, those are expensive. Yeah, I don't see the size, but I'm thinking these have got to be 12. That's what size the guy wore. What are these? Kenneth Cole reaction a little dusty but again these are really nice nice shoes okay so what am I gonna do with this thing uh, I can't list it on eBay because they'll pull it right down and slap my hand uh, so I'll probably have to put it up locally like on Craigslist all right next box shoe shoe shoes <sighs> man a6 these are expensive those are expensive. Oh, these are cool. Look at that. Some, some Adidas. Wow. 
boost, huh? It's a little different. They look like they're probably really comfortable. Got another pair. How about that? Oh, seven and a half actually. Look at this. Nikes, Flywire, Adidas. Oh, these are Skechers. Some more Nikes. Some more Nikes. Some more Nikes. Climacool. What's Climacool? Is that Adidas? Got some nice shoes in here. Next box. More men's shoes. Kenneth Cole. Timberland. That's cool. All right. More huge shoes in uh, kind of dusty, dirty condition, but they're decent. All right, another box. Yeah, that right off the gate. Banana Republic. Good stuff. Divided. It's more good stuff. L'Amour Toujours. I don't know what that means, but I know it's a nice shirt. Oh, this is cool right here. Look at this. Cheers. <laughs> we found some Cheers items in the last uh, video, well, the last batch that I went through. But unfortunately, I think the film glitched, and I didn't show any of it. But they went to Boston, and they bought some uh, some uh, souvenirs from the Cheers bar. All right, guys, there's a... I don't even know what to do here. There's so many clothes. So many clothes. I don't know if I should show everything. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. For, uh, Forever 21. That's nice. It's not super valuable, but it's kind of cool with the hood. Hollister. Just so much philosophy it's good stuff again all right and this is the big mountain right here that we have still to get through all of these bins and as you can see clothes 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 looks like christmas towels blankets socks shoes clothes 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 it's looking like more of the same i'm gonna have to go through these and pull out what's best what the good stuff is if only i know i you know i don't really know women's clothing so sometimes it's a guessing game Okay, what do we got here? More towels, and I'll tell you, they they like nice towels. Uh, their towels are definitely high quality, Treviso, 100% cotton. I'm not saying like this is big money, but like I said in the earlier video, it's not cheap either. I mean, uh, washcloths and hand towels, you, you're not going to get much, but for like a larger size towel, you might get a couple bucks. It all starts to add up. I see my wife sell a box of towels like this, nice quality towels not terribly used mostly newer i've seen her sell a whole box of them before for like 40 bucks maybe 60 bucks at a garage sale if we have the right stuff and people paid it crazy huh okay <laughs> next box look at that brand new um that's definitely something a little different <laughs> these i think are a little better they're soft and light but with the these things, oh man, I don't know. That's funny. They'll sell, I'm sure. All right, look at all this Christmas stuff. Tissue paper. All right, okay. Got a lot of stuff in here. What's in the bubble wrap? They got me interested now. What is this? Oh, just Christmas tags. Serious? Ink pad. Huh. All right, there's some stamps in here. Some ink and some Christmas tags. Not terribly cutting. This stuff's new though. Carlton cards. Seven bucks. Oh, this is nice. Huh. TJ Maxx. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. These are nice cards. Right away I was like, oh, we're taking this to the flea market. Unless I donate it. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, this is too nice. I'm going to actually have to bring it home and show Jana. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a really nice. These are some high quality cards. Look at this. Just says Paper Magic Group. I don't see a price on it, but guys, this is, cards like this, this, these are usually four, five, six bucks each in the store. I might have to take this home and show the wife. All right, next box. Okay, this SJND, this is the uh, private school those kids go on to. And what I've been doing so so far with all that kind of stuff, I've just been donating it. Oh, that's a nice Gap vest right there. That's going to be a good seller. Ann Taylor, large. All right. 
That's good. All right, so. Oh boy, got a lot more good stuff here. I'm gonna go through this again later. Um, we have so much of the stuff at home right now. I don't think I can uh, bring home any more. It's getting a little bit overloaded at home. All right. Brand new leggings. And it looks like socks and underwear and that kind of stuff. Wow, look at this though. Brand new. Brand new. It's crazy. So much brand new stuff. What's that say? I don't know. I can't read that. Men's jacket. Okay. The rail. Men's sweatshirt. 32 degree heat. Another men's sweatshirt. Calvin Klein. This is more the, the dad's stuff. We know he really liked Calvin Klein. 32 degree heat. It's a nice sweatshirt. Gap. Okay. Ann Taylor. 60 bucks. My goodness, brand new with tags. Still has a size sticker on it. So good. Ann Taylor. Dang. I hope we have some Ann Taylor fans in our uh, live auction because we are going to have lots of Ann Taylor stuff to, to auction off. That's great. We're not going to go through it all. But I got a taste and it was good. Okay. Next box. The slime, I think. I think their kids probably made slime. Uh, not clothes, guys. That's the good news. I think it's good news. I mean, clothes is good, but I'm just saying uncle because we had so much of it. Some paint. That's empty. Okay. Oh, fingernail LA Colors. Fingernail set. Oh, come on. Let's find some good stuff. Oh. Yeah. All right. It's all nail stuff. Okay, yeah, this is pretty grody, but looks like it's a lot more of the hotel soaps and stuff. It's <laughs> candy in there. Gross. Okay, this. This is a... That's quite a set right here, isn't it? I'm just wondering if they're dried up. That one looks okay. Yeah. That's more my color. Okay, let's see. I think these are dried up. Is there something you can put inside of it to loosen it up like a thinner? Hmm, maybe my daughter wants this box. I don't know. Let's see what's in here. A little bit more of it's kind of dirty. All right, I've been kind of skipping the clothing boxes because I'm just getting a little tired of clothing. But this one looks like jeans, and I see some new stuff. So let's check this out. Verona. That's like Target brand, right? Come on, just give me some Levi's. There's some Gap. That's decent. Gap. Okay, that's brand new Gap. 50 bucks. I, I think these would actually be pretty easy to list and sell on eBay. Gap. Well, they like their Gap. Gap. Oh, here's some DKNY jeans. I mean, man, if, if I had the manpower... Ooh, hang on. I started to not care, and then all of a sudden I started to care. True religion. Nice. Very nice. Okay. We'll take those home. We'll list those or put them in our auctions or something. Dockers. All right. True religion, though. That is good. I thought those weren't worth much anymore, and I even made a statement, I think, on the last video that they used to be worth... You know, 70, 80 bucks. And I looked them up in certain styles, and I think we've got those styles. Still sell for 60 to 70 bucks. So that's not bad. Not clothing. Let's start that out with the great news. I really am just kidding. The clothing is great, because I think a lot of these boxes, we have 100 bucks plus in clothing. And that's really good. That's what I've been trying, trying to maintain is a $100 per bin average so I can make 10 grand on this locker all right there's some good hair, hair stuff aquazana it's got a little charcoal filter in there these are some different 
hangers. Never seen any like that before. Okay. I think my girls need a new uh, hair dryer. Infinity Pro Conair. I'm sure it's nice because everything these guys bought was pretty dang nice. Honestly, guys, it's getting a little bit woozy. It's seriously hot here. Yeah. That feels pretty good, actually. Yeah. Just making my hair wet. I help keep my body temperature down, but I am getting a little bit woozy. The heat is I think it's actually getting hotter in here. I already drank a couple of waters. <laughs> Luckily I found all those waters. Uh, now I'm gonna crack another one. Helps keep the temperature down. Cold, cold water. Alright. That was good. What's this sitting right here? Oh, a couple little hard drives. That's cool. You know, I, I use a lot of hard drives because I make these videos and I back everything up. So I'm constantly putting stuff on external drives. This is a two terabyte right here. That's pretty good. I hope that's two terabytes. Also, that is coming home with me because I will use that. It saves me a little bit of money. A couple mini ears, a couple of cord extenders, a bunch of little bags, shelf liner. Yeah, contact paper. And Ikea bags, all right, that's it. Not too exciting. Okay, next box has got some new stuff. Tech gear. Cole's $18 for this bundle of socks. That's pretty cool. Hey, all right. Oh, pens. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So many pens. We've got a huge plastic bin of pens. I'm going to put the pens in the uh, one of the upcoming auctions. All right, we're going to auction that off. Any glow stick used. All right, what have we got here? Okay, this is a little gift card right here. I'll have to try that in a second, see if it's got anything on it. Sorted chocolates, probably from 2014. All right, and I like what I see right here. This is getting a little better. Because that's straight up money. Money, money, money. It makes me so happy. All right, we got a dollar and 21 cents. I will take it. I will take it. Ooh. Mmm. It brings me up and brings me down at the moment apart. One moment apart. Yeah, it's empty. Ooh, even if I found the remote, that would have been sweet. I don't know what model it is. 64 gig? I don't know what model that is, but maybe we'll find it. Maybe we'll find it. Oh, yeah. We got some more money. Sweet. All right, guys, yeah. Why do I like finding money so much? It's such a thrill. Two bucks. Two dollars and 99 cents. Thank you very much. Febreze. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but I'll sell it. Trick or treat. Oh, check it out. That's what I was looking for. Right there. That makes an even three bucks. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hold up. Stop the presses. We're still bringing more in. That's 33 cents more. And a hair. They don't charge you for that. Oh, look at that. He's hiding. He's hiding. My pants are getting heavy now. They're going to fall down. All this money. Empty boxes. Money. 
Add seven cents to our tally, please. All right, and just like that, my GoPro shut off, and I looked at it, and it said, GoPro turning off, it is too hot, or something like that. GoPro is too hot. So I threw it in the cooler. That should cool it down, but it's fine. I'm getting too hot. I just might shut down at some point. So we're going to uh, wrap it up. I've got some stuff on the truck right there. I'm going to bring over to the other unit, stuff that's ready to go to the flea market. Process done. And then I'm going to come back here and grab a few more boxes because check this out. Hey, there's some good boxes right there because they're not closed. Well, maybe that one is, but that's something else. That looks like paperwork and books. Uh, but this is something else. You got a license plate, shoe box. Who knows? Kind of some mixed stuff behind it. Clothes, school stuff, clothes, clothes, oh, clothes, 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 shoes. But, um, yeah, I'll grab these. We'll bring those home. And I didn't finish going through this box. There's a little cosmetics and perfume and stuff in there, so... I'll bring that home. We'll go through that also. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? <laughs> what are you doing in there? Oh my gosh. Camera's not focusing. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, she's just gonna scratch up this couch. What are you doing? <laughs> she's freaking out, man. She's freaking out. Whoa, right through my legs. Hey, what are you doing? She goes. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get me? Whoa, whoa, put the brakes on. Oh, kitty, don't fall. <laughs> you're funny. You are funny. Hey, whoa, what was that? She's so vicious. She just attacked me. She did? She went, <laughs> All right, in the next episode, here's one of the boxes that I brought home. I thought it was school supplies. What do you guys see right there? I know what I see. That looks like a Michael Kors wallet or purse. Man, this locker's not done giving, is it?